if this were very blue, what would happen is I get a nasty green here right now. But because it's not all that blue, what I get is just a little bit of gray, which is perfectly fine. This fine. this brush back and what I'm going to do is get some more of this color down here where it needs to be. A little bit in here and a lot down here. This is all wet sand reflecting the sky color back up. And what I'm also going to do is lighten it just a little bit. So, grab my light there. Okay. When I lighten it, not only do I lighten it, but I also desaturate it a little bit. Uh, so the color becomes just a little less intense because I want to keep the most intense color right up there. It's right up there. It's okay if it's just a little dirty because we'll just blend it out. Little dirt is a good thing. It adds a just a little variation. Right across, right across the canvas, and then a little bit the edges up here of our file. Well, somehow my camera managed to miss all of this that happened, but let me go back through and explain it. On this white face here, first, first we wanted to uh, put in the put in the, uh, the sea background, which we did with a cloud color, similar to cloud color. A uh, little bit of the rock color into that to make it darker than the sky. Here, what I have is the rock color plus some of that blue to get a nice dark green all along the back here, keeping it nice and uneven in spaces. And some of this white area will fill in in a set. Here, I have a nice saturated blue from the phthalo blue, which is a very pure blue. So there, use all in here, and uh, that pretty much wraps it up for for what changed. And let's get going. Grab this brush for the pure blue again. All down along here. I'm going to put some in. And in here we need the lighter. It's a nice light blue. I'm just going to put it in.
So when I turn this brush on the side, I can get some really interesting textures out of it, which is uh, as goes to your, your brush handling. You know how much, how comfortable are you using your brush to get what you want? Some of this up here. Something like this. Just leaving some patterns in here. So covering up some areas, leaving some. Trying to let the brush do some of the work for me by creating some randomness to it. Here we want more of a purple, so let's grab our brush for that. Go into the purple and put it right along there. Sorry if I'm getting in the way. Hope you can see. Okay. So let's just fill it out some. Okay. 
down to this. There we go. There we go. Now we can start playing with the tops of this foam. leaving some areas. So, so the lattice part is going to be right up here on the top, which we'll probably have to put a, a highlight on to really make it come out. But uh, I would say just you know vary it back and forth a little bit, however you like. Play with it. Just have fun with it. coming together, so let's do a little highlighting for fun already. 